When it comes to time loop movies, I have to say, this is probably one of the best ones in probably the past five years. And of course, I am talking about Palm Springs. Now, Palm Springs came out at sort of a surprise moment in time. And by that, I mean it came out during the pandemic in 2020. And it was kind of a movie that no one had heard about. And it was a movie that technically wasn't even supposed to come out uh, in 2020. They were thinking about pushing it back, and what happened was they ended up releasing it on Hulu. And luckily, I got to see it when it came out on Hulu. Now, the reason why I say Palm Springs is probably one of the best time loop movies is because, for me personally, I love time loop movies. Whether it be Groundhog Day, or even Source Code, which is probably one of my favorite time loop movies probably ever. I really do love the fact that you could jump between times or even go back and loop over time and see situations change depending on a certain thing or a certain item or a certain situation and changing a certain factor and how that is going to make it play out. It's a really interesting concept. So why do I think that Palm Springs is the best time loop movie in the past five years? Well, I think it combines a lot of really great factors, especially its cast. In the movie, you have Andy Samberg and you have Kristen Milioti, who are two fantastic actors. And technically, based on what I understand, this was actually a movie from Andy Samberg, from his company. And I think it was a really cool execution. I think that the movie was executed very well. You also have other characters. You even have Camila Mendez, who actually shows up in the movie as the bride-to-be. And um, if you watch the movie, you will understand what I'm talking about. But this movie really does bring a nice chemistry between two characters that normally I wouldn't put two and two together. And when I heard that this movie was by Andy Samberg, in the back of my mind, I was like, okay, this movie is probably gonna suck. And luckily I was wrong. And the reason why I would say that is because a lot of the other movies that he's done before really didn't interest me. Uh, I didn't watch uh, uh, Not Stop, Never Stopping, something like that. I'm gonna put the poster up here, but I didn't really enjoy that movie as much or, or I've only seen like a few minutes and that really didn't interest me as much. So when I came to watching Palm Springs, immediately in my mind I was like, okay, it's gonna be just another throwaway movie. But luckily it wasn't and honestly it was probably one of my favorite movies of 2020. The comedy is on point. You have this chemistry that works really well. You have two characters that you wouldn't see together but at the same time, they learn to like each other and they kind of get themselves in this sort of situation where they both remember what happened before. He says that he's been there almost three months in the same time loop. So when she realizes what's happening, she kind of gets caught up in this time loop as well. And honestly, one of my favorite things is seeing these situations play out, whether it's them, I don't know, running into a bar or them trying to cross a state or them starting to see dinosaurs and hallucinate or this sort of like blossoming friendship even over time. It's really interesting and honestly, it's, it's a fantastic movie in my opinion. I think if you're looking for a feel good movie, Palm Springs really does nail all the points that you're looking for. It has comedy. It has a little bit of drama here and there. It does have action. And ultimately, it's a bit romantic too. So I mean, it's kind of like a date night movie if you're looking for one. Palm Springs is a really good movie. And honestly, it's definitely a recommendation of mine, especially for a movie that talks about time loops and seeing these situations play out. I just absolutely love it. And I'll add one more thing as well. I never knew Andy Samberg was this good an actor, especially in a situation where it kind of shifts motives. Like, I've seen him on SNL, but I never knew that he was capable of doing something like this. So it's really cool to see, you know, learning how 
deep an actor can go specifically for a role like this. And someone else who actually shows up in the movie that I completely forgot about was J.K. Simmons. And to see him also in this sort of situation where we find out that he's also in the time loop and also in that situation is very unique. And trying to see them go back to their time and, and kind of trying to figure out how to get out of this time loop and then only to find out that they couldn't leave the time loop is a very, very cool and uh, experience that. Ah, uh, man, I, I just love this movie. And yes, this will definitely be my recommendation for you. So go ahead, go out there, watch this movie. This movie is so much fun and so heartwarming at times that you're just gonna wanna watch it over and over again. So yes, go out there, rent it, buy it. I don't know, buy it at a garage sale if you find it. Uh, get Hulu, watch this movie. It's definitely my recommendation if you're looking for a cool movie to watch on either an afternoon or on a date night. And having said all of that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do enjoy making these videos for you, making these little reviews even of older movies and newer movies. Really love it. And while you're there, can you please just go down in the comments down below, tell me if you've watched this movie, if you actually enjoyed watching this movie, because I want to know what you guys think about this movie. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button. We got more videos coming in literally every single day. So while you're here looking at me, there's definitely going to be a video coming out tomorrow. So while you're there, hit the little bell icon because, you know, we're going to have more videos coming in. And again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.